everyone what's going on it's Wasim here again for another fragrance review today is going to be a review of a perfume oil or a utter uh, the utter that we are reviewing today is from the house of Melifluence and the utter that we're reviewing is called Yugen so let's just talk about the notes really quickly of Yugen and then we'll talk about what it smells like so the notes of Yugen at the top you're going to get black currant the heart of the fragrance is jasmine sambac benzoin and vanilla and the base of the fragrance is castorium and tract triple A grade oud. So those were the notes of Yugen. But what do you really get from this Uttar? So for me, when I apply this Uttar, I get a super sweet, fruity opening from the note of the black currant. Uh, the, the opening reminds me of uh, when I was little, I used to have Rabina squash. So I used to open the bottle and pour the Rabina squash into a glass and the just before I add the water, the smell that you get from the Ribena squash. If you don't know what Ribena squash is, just uh, Google it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the comment below of a Google search to Ribena squash. It's a very popular drink here in the UK, uh, which is based around the note of blackcurrant. And when you smell the Ribena squash, that's what I get from the opening of Yugen. I get this really sweet, fruity blackcurrant note, which is super intense and really dark. Uh, which you just get from Robbie in a squash. It's super sweet, super dark. As the fragrance develops, this sweety fruitiness that you get in the opening starts to mellow out a little bit. And uh, I start picking up a, a resin in the uh, after the first few minutes or so. And this resin on my skin gives off this smell that, you know, this smell that you get from envelopes, the glue on envelopes. That's a, a subtle sort of smell that I pick up uh, after a few minutes of this scent. As the fragrance dries down into the heart, you also start picking up uh, a little bit of this uh, this tangy, warm spiciness as well. Uh, I'm not sure what which note this is uh, coming from. Uh, it doesn't smell like a particular sort of warm spice, and it doesn't smell like saffron or like a, a pepper or anything like that. But it has a tangy, warmy spiciness into the heart. As the fragrance dries down into uh, the dry down. It completely loses the sweet, fruity nature that you was getting in the opening. Uh, I even you even lose that resinous sort of uh, glue sort of uh, smell that I was getting, and the spiciness. And for me, in the dry down, it evolves into a really smoky, sweet, smoky, smooth scent. And I believe that's coming from the note of the benzoin, which gives a like a smoky vanillic tone. And you also pick up a very subtle leathery note as well. It's incredible how much this other changes from the first hour that you apply it until the dry down. It starts off at a super sweet, uh, dark, fruity scent, uh, which then evolves constantly onto your skin and finally dries down to a smoky, sweet vanilla with a subtle bit of leather. And others usually do this on your skin. Uh, they perform very differently to fragrances uh, or the parfum or the toilette, obviously, because uh, other parfum and other toilettes, they contain alcohol. So the projection of your skin, it's pushed out with the alcohol burning on your skin. However, with others, these others are made without any alcohol and they perform a lot differently because they project off your skin and burn off your skin depending on your body heat. So they always constantly change on your skin. And I've mentioned it in a lot of my other reviews that no two wearings are the same. And I get a similar feel from this other as well, you get from Melifluence. Uh, you start picking up a little bit more nuances in a certain wearing and in certain other wearings you pick up another note far more than you did in your previous wearing. In terms of performance, uh, again was uh, moderate. It wasn't massively excellent uh, beastly projection, nor was it a very soft skin scent. I got moderate projection, and the you do have a nice scent cloud around you. You can obviously smell it as you move around. In terms of longevity on my skin, uh, from again I got about six hours, which was for me quite disappointing because I really enjoy the scent and I wanted it to last a lot lot longer. However because it's such a, a lovely size, you can carry it around with you and reapply it if you wish. Uh, but six hours for me was a tad bit annoying uh, and a little bit disappointing. Now the way I apply the other is just uh, below my earlobes and below my beard line. Uh, so maybe that's why I wasn't able to, to 
to detect the scent after six hours. Obviously, if you apply it to your wrists or any other parts where you can to your hand and then bring it to your nose, you may be able to smell this a lot, lot, long, longer. Uh, but because uh, I wash my wrists constantly throughout the day, I tend not to apply there. In terms of seasons, I think due to its bright nature, I think it works really well as a spring or a fall time scent. I think it could be worn uh, day or night. Uh, it's very much a uh, unisex scent and I find it uh, to be a very accessible and very pleasing uh, author. So I think if you're a beginner to the world of authors, this one will be really a great start for yourself. Uh, for me, what I was really impressed with Yugen uh, was that it starts off for me, when I first applied it, I thought it was going to be a very one-dimensional fruity scent, uh, just based around the note of the black print, and I was quite worried, like, is this just going to be a fruity utter? But then, the way it evolves into the dry down, I, w I love the uh, lovely characters that this utter had, the different little layers and uh, uh, complexities in the scent. I really enjoyed it, uh, and I was really taken by surprise. I expected it to be a one-dimensional one scent, but it really wasn't. It really flourished on my skin, and I was really, really impressed in the end. Overall rating, I'm going to give this a, a 4 out of 5. A very pleasant, accessible scent, which has a lot of complexities. A uh, very uh, pleasing scent as well. So 4 out of 5 for Yugen from the House of Mellifluence. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, then please do leave me a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe as well. Until next time, see you later.